peace never lasts long until the day you die. That's the law of the world we grew up in. Crime, murder, destitution, take your pick. Around every corner, the smell of puke, piss, blood, tits. A world where trust is an illusion and hope is the faded gray cloud on a rainy day. In my world, people never make it out, no matter how hard they fight. I know someday somebody will make it out for good. I don't know who, but that someone will need to be one hell of a fighter. It's finally coming together. Yeah, it's great. You know, my family's been doing business for how long now? I don't know. My pops, your pops. It's been a while. About time me and you started. It's been crossing us for years, man. You had half of my crew whack because I wanted 50%. It's about time we put this town together. You don't make up a business. It's Seth's business, bro. Sometimes you gotta do the right thing for business. I don't know about self. I don't trust self. You guys have been in direct contact with me. What are you saying? Listen, man, everyone has that philosophy to divide and conquer. We gotta stay together. Understand? So it's the same right thing. Where's Seth? Hear that? Matter of fact, hey, hold on, hold on. They don't know what Seth is. Why don't you go back there and see where he is? Alright. Check it out. What's that? Yo, you setting us up, man? What are you fucking with me, dude? Hey! What the fuck? What's up? What you doing up here? Oh! 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 Wait, 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 wait! What's that? Mr. Kelly. I'm tired of playing these games, man. Where's Mr. Seth? You tired of playing games? I tell you what, I have someone here. Who's gonna praise this situation? Gentlemen, Mr. Seth would like to give you a membership. Bring him over. But you, Mr. Kelly, your membership is expired. How much is paying, but I can double it. You know what? Take him up on his offer.
today, James? Are you sure you want to do this? Mr. Seth doesn't take things like this lightly. I don't care what Seth takes. Consider this my resignation. Look, I understand that the fights may be taking a toll on you. We can get you out of them. That would not be a problem. You know it's not about the fights. It's about the rest of the bullshit he has me doing. That comes with the territory, James. You should know that. You're the best we have. I really advise you to- Wes! Listen, I told you. I'm done. I'm out. James! You've been told what happens to people who walk out on them. Goodbye, Wes. James. I know we're going through some tough times. But we'll be okay. We always are. Come. I'm gonna go see someone. Listen, Frankie, I already told Ace that I would have the rest of my due in a few weeks. I told him that, and he said it was okay. He said- I don't give a damn said, what Ace said. You forgetting, Hunter? He's my partner. And when he told me that you're falling behind on your payment, I told him I wasn't happy. If you don't pay him, he don't pay me, and I take that shit very personal. So, it's like we got a problem. Whatever it is, I deal with Ace, not with you. Is that so? But you ain't dealing with Ace right now. You're dealing with me.
but if it isn't Wesley, never thought I'd see your sleazy ass again. Afternoon, Frankie. How are you? What the fuck do you want? Need you back, Frank. Need me back for what? I'm serious. I'm serious too. Need me back for what? I already made my amends with Seth. We parted on mutual terms. He let me go on and do my own thing. We need you back for one last job, Frankie. Just one more, and that's it. Seth will never bother you again. You don't understand the word no? Fuck so funny. What the fuck you laughing for? You really think he didn't need you anymore? He just told you that like, because he likes fucking with people. The reason he let you go because he found someone a lot better. But then he walked away from us. And that's the problem we have to deal with right now. But you, he never let you out of his sight. He has all his previous employees follow constantly in case he might need them again. How do you think I found you, you dumb fuck? You listen to me, little shit. You tell that big bear motherfucker that I'm on my own. I'm not doing shit for him no more. Understand? <clears throat> you know how he works, Frank. So I guess we all learned something new. Who the fuck is this? I told you, Mr. Seth cannot take no for an answer. Is he supposed to do something with me? Standing like that? Looking like a superhero? Why are you trying to walk past this motherfucker? Go anywhere, and he won't come bother you. He won't come hunt you down. We we'll have to go out there anyway. He's a big guy, but don't worry. You won't be working alone. You'll be working with Macy. This motherfucker that just kicked my ass, I gotta work with him. This motherfucker just whooped your ass six days to Sunday. I'm gonna give you both the address, so y'all can go take this down. What the fuck you standing there for? Let's go. So, I see that look, girl. What? You're judging me because I'm leaving? I'm not judging you. I'm just wondering if you're doing the right thing. I mean, you don't know what it's like. He comes home in the middle of the night, beat up as a dog, and I don't even know if he's gonna come home or if he's gonna end up in the hospital. Do you know what that's like for me? I bet that's hard. I just can't put up with this bullshit anymore. I need some peace of mind. I mean, I just want to start over. We want to start over. And who knows, maybe start a family or something? When? As soon as we can, as soon as we get the money, that is. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's already saved up a lot, but still not enough to get out of here. Look. If you need some money, I, I, I can give you some. You're such a good friend, but I could never take your money. I mean, the bar is hardly making it, and you're just, you're barely making it on your own. 
I'll be okay. It's just I'm so tired of you coming in here getting all wasted because you're so depressed all the time. It's up to you. I just want to let you know I'm here for you. We'll figure it out. We always do. It's just a little complicated right now, but I know that we'll make it work. All right? So don't worry. Well, you let me know if you change your mind. Thanks for the drink. I gotta go. Um, I love you. Pick up your phone later when I call you. I'll give you all the details about what happened, okay? You're gonna be okay? Stop worrying. It'll be okay. Love you. Trizzy? King, where's he at? He's coming. I'm telling you, yo. I don't even know why the fuck you want to make deals with this clown. Damien, I told you. We need the space by Dipmars, all right? Relax yourself. Yo, I'm fucking relaxed. Don't tell me to relax. I'm just not desperate to make deals with clown-ass motherfuckers. You feel me? Uh, Jesus, enough, all right? It's just business. Jesus, can't you just take a look at the bigger picture for once? Croc? Man, I see plenty of pictures, but I don't like seeing pictures of goddamn clowns. You understand what I'm saying? You feel me? What about that jack up with Chris? Goddamn. Yo, you're not gonna stop, are you? <laughs> you know what I love most about the El Diablo game? I sure know how to answer something. Well, if it isn't Jimmy fucking fingers, late, as usual. How's it going, Diego? Oh, and that jacket between Chris and Damon? The hospital insurance is going to cover that real well, I sure. Fuck you, Jimmy. Lucky we ain't run your ass over with the ice cream trucks, you fucking clown. You see what I mean? Stupid. Always entertaining. Yo, this motherfucker getting me real tight, yo. I'm about to pull this phone for a clock. Damn it, stop. Can't Damn take it, stop. Shit. Control your crazy ass for 10 minutes, all right? I'm serious. Relax. Jimmy, look, we didn't come here to fucking entertain you, all right? So how about we cut all the jokes and we get right down to business, okay? I agree. So what do you got? Well, as we agreed, three bags of our product right in there. We have access to your corner on Dip Mars for a few months for our business. Excellent. You know, you've always been a good guy. Good guy to do business with. You know what? Come through. Cool. However, I decided to change a few things. I just don't think three bags worth any of my space. What? So, cutting it down to a month. Yo, I knew this shit was gonna happen. Yo, what's about to happen to you, motherfucker? Hold on, Damien, hold on. Oh. Let's not lose control, all right? We're negotiating here. Man, fuck your negotiation, rat fucker. Hold Yo, on. Diego, hold on. You gonna take this shit right here? Hold on. Jimmy, listen. Why didn't you say this before? I was under the impression that we were good on our deal. Jimmy, what, what the hell is happening? How you doing, Marshall? Long time no see. Good to see you too. Now what the hell's going on? 
I'll show you what's going on. Wow. <laughs> Jimmy, what the fuck? Yo, the girl's here? The fuck you mean no? How the fuck is it like it was like since Saturday? I'm gonna have all y'all here to get up on my shit. What's up, Slate? You better find my package, motherfucker! What's up, Slade? Where's Hendrix? Hey, Chrissy. Long time no see, beautiful. Okay. What's up? You get my message about the loan? Oh, you got me fucking kidding me, um, man. Hendrix, you know, we could really use a loan. James will be grateful for it, okay? Look, I don't have time for this petty shit. I got Hendrix. things to do. Hendrix. You know James had a hand in getting you to where you are. You owe him. You owe us, and I'm not leaving until I get something. Look, bitch. Don't come in here talking all tough and shit, alright? I'm not gonna get pushed in some type of corner just because your stupid-ass boyfriend messed up. Alright? You must be out of your pretty little damn mind. Poor James. Constantly being chased by motherfuckers left and right. While I'm here just chilling, relaxing, living life. Something neither of you get to do because you're always on the run. So what you gonna do, just leave your boy high and dry? <laughs> Look, we make mistakes. And we pay for our mistakes. Alright? Mm -hmm. Alright? I'm not gonna throw away all the respect that I accumulated through all these years for somebody else's mistake. Are you crazy? Oh yeah? What respect? Yeah. What respect? The same respect that lets me sleep at night. Unlike yourself. In the same respect that has people coming to me for help. Like yourself. James could have got the same respect as me. If he would have came up with me, but he didn't. You know something? He didn't get up with you. Because he's not a lad. And he doesn't fuck people over. Because, mm -hmm. yo, get this bitch out of my face before I do you know something. something? Yo, you me you really know something, Hendrix? I don't even want your money. Because I know you're going to get yours. Because rats always do. Mm -hmm. And I don't want your diseased, dirty ass money bringing me bad luck and following me around anyway. So thank you. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, great. Got it. Thanks for the info. Check around there if we don't get to the at the shop. Hendrix, huh? 
He's been embezzling for some time now, has he? Yes, sir, he has. Well then, we collections on this dude. Listen, uh, I know we didn't get off on the right foot back there. But you kicking me and shit. But I gotta say, what you did back in that alley, that's some sweet moves you did. Thanks. Yeah. Sorry I had to kick your butt. No, you're not. You're right. I'm not. I get it. I get it. And you're just doing your job. This doesn't make us friends, buddy. You sure as hell don't. But I can respect another fighter who's better than me. Thanks. I appreciate that. Where'd you learn to do that stuff anyway? Uh, I was in the military, and before that, I started Taekwondo in 1989. Since then, it's been just straight Taekwondo training. And now you're stuck here doing this stakeout bullshit. Yep. Yeah, how's that working for you? Can't complain. <laughs> what? Frankie, I need you and Mason at the Hendrick shop. What about the one last job you told me to do? The last job is coming, but I need you to do this one first. Hey, man, don't be yanking my chain, man. I can smell your bullshit through this phone. God damn it, don't argue me. Just do it. All right. All right, fine. We'll be there. We'll be there. We got to go. Got to get some guy named Hendrix. Some low-level rat who probably pissed off Seth. Start the car. Let's go. How are you, James? I'm all right, Mr. Dunn. Hanging in there. Good. You like to hear that. I got what you asked for. You know, me and Chris really appreciate this. Oh, not a problem. You guys know where are you guys uh, heading to? I don't know. Someplace nice, maybe the Caribbean. Quiet. Oh, of course. Uh, go somewhere where you can find peace. Remember. Peace. I'm starting to wonder if something like that exists. It will, but you have to fight for it. That was a shot. It's okay. It's, um, slow. I know you're taking a huge blow with this, but I really appreciate what you're doing for us. No worries. I'm um, glad to help you out. Thank you, Jim. Take care of yourself. You too. That crazy redhead bitch comes back with James. I need you to kill her.
Kendrick's my boy. Bitch. All is well, you know, a little bullshit here and there, but what's going on? You know, I gotta talk to you about that thing with Seth the other night with the money. May I help you gentlemen? You do know this is the appointment only, right? Uh, you know what, today I think it's a Too funny. Walk in. I got you walking right there. Oh, you got a little 38. What you gonna do with that, huh? Don't make me shoot you. Jimmy. How you doing, Sa? Pissed off now that you're here. <laughs> what the what? fuck do you want? Whoa. You have quite the attitude, don't you? Jimmy, I ain't gonna ask you again. And if I have to ask again, it'll be the last question you ever hear. Relax, relax. Relax, Sa. Just want to talk. What makes you think I want to talk to you? To be honest, it's in your best interest. My interest? Oh, don't tell me this is about the joint territory bullshit. You know what's good for business. It's one part of the border, and I'll give you Jimmy, that. Jimmy, my dad already turned you down when you talked to him about sharing territory. So why the fuck? Are you coming back here, wasting your time, and talking to me? Well, right. I just figured maybe you can convince him. You're shitting me, right? Please tell me he's shitting me. You have some real fucking balls, you know that? I ain't accent. You know where you are? You're in BTK territory, motherfucker!
Gina, baby, how are you, sweetheart? Pretty good. How was your flight? Not bad. Mm -hmm. Got everything done? Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Glad you're back. Of course, I'm always on time. You know that, Motherfucker! You have any idea what my dad will do to you? Your face will be the best thing about you after he's done. <laughs> well, then go get him. As a matter of fact, you're the messenger. <laughs> you stupid fuck. We're finished. You too, bitch. The only reason I'm not firing back at you is because I have brains. Men only know how to bark. That's all they ever do. I'm a little more evolved than that. I prefer to study people. Measure them so I can figure out how to do real damage. And that's why she's the best. <laughs> Drizzy, this is Gina. Gina, this is Drizzy. She's been a part of our crew for a long time. She went out to Florida, took care of a few jobs for me. Now she's back. You're done! You're done! You're done! You hear me, Jimmy? You're finished! Oh! How beautiful! This view is what I miss most about this place. From when I lived in the city. Actually, it's the only thing that I miss. Oh. 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 Now would you agree? I went to your store the other day to find one little thing. You know, where that fucking Greek James is supposed to be this afternoon. Now picture my amusement. Will my men find stashes of thousands of dollars that you stole from me? I needed the money to keep my store open. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, you sweat, man. You sure sweat a lot when you're on your knees pleading for mercy. I hate the stench your sweat gives off, it's the worst kind. Coming from all that shit you people cook. The more you sweat, the nastier the stench. And you? <laughs> you're sweating like a pig right now. Do you know you're sweating like a pig? But it's okay. It's okay. I'll tolerate it. You want to know why? Because I love the pleading and the begging that causes it. The more you beg, the more you sweat. Raise up. And when I really start to smell that shit, that's when I know you've reached that point. <laughs> that point when you realize that your life is no longer yours.
your life belongs to us. And it's we who are deciding whether you're going to walk away with it or whether we going to keep it. Raise up. And when you reach that point, <laughs> that's when I start to get off. Raise up. That's when I start to get off. Well, I guess it's time for my little nostalgia trip to come to an end. Yet. I'm looking for somebody named Chrissy. I heard she hangs around here. I'm sorry, but that person doesn't work here. You don't expect me to know every customer's name, do you? I just chat with them a bit until they just leave me alone, you know? You know what I mean? You can't expect me to remember everyone's name. I mean, I just chat with them because I have to, you know, until they stop. Well then, pour me a drink. And we can talk a little. Aye, what, what, what's this about? Relax, honey bunches. He just likes to get to know people. He's very friendly. Likes to leave a lasting impression. I mean, how long is this going to take? Well, like you said, until I leave you alone. Are you eating your vitamin C? Yep, got it right here. Hey, babe. Yeah. Did you, did you see your cousin, the one with the funny accent? Yeah, I saw her the other day. Yeah, she tried to give us money. I wouldn't take it, of course. You took a pass of twins, you know that, right? No. She has blonde hair.
Good afternoon, James. You know, usually, I won't deal with people directly on my payroll. But for you, I'll make an exception. You son of a bitch. After all the dirty work I did for you, all the money I made you, now you come to my motherfucking house? You show your face in my motherfucking house? Get away from her, motherfucker! Get off me, you motherfucker! Dickless monster! Fight the one you got here! He always did like him. Hardcore. Only wants to take your bitch. Yeah, that's why you fuckers need to come in here. Five of you fuckers! Fuck Shut you up one on one! one. You can keep talking all that talk. Fuck you! Shut up. Fuck you! You don't quite measure up to be doing that kind of talking. Get this fucking guy off me and test that theory, huh? Calling it a theory would imply that you can pass. I've always been a top-notch student. Razor. Plenty of time. Get your bitch out of my fucking house! I'll have unfinished business. That's right. Send these red flags packed and we'll sell us like men. Whoa, whoa. Easy to the tough guy. Because I'm gonna shoot you dead. I will cut you through a long time ago. And what will you learn from that? Nothing! What the fuck am I supposed to learn from you? That we bite the hand that feeds you! This hand hand comes back and take your life away! I wanted something better for myself. I wanted a way for you. It's not what you want. It's what I want. And in 24 hours, I want you to cut Vladimir Reznov. Oh, you see that? No! Let it go, motherfucker! No! It's between you and me! James! No! Go no! and take me, James! Mr. Razanov? They changed the time of the meeting, sir. It's happening in 20 minutes. So as you can see, Mr. Razanov, as the deal that we're offering is going to be beneficial for all of us. Have you been listening to anything we've been saying? Look, I agree that the 15% that you want in return for your protection is very generous, especially for these days. But I've taken the liberty of contacting a few of your previous associates. And the reviews, I must say, were not too thrilling. So, if you want a firm percentage rate on the shipment gross, I'm going to need assurances. Uh, assurances? I, I don't think you understand the deal that we're actually Listen, on. Hey, Roger, I don't care about the deals. I care about the protection. And from what I've heard, there were many things that went wrong with your previous clients. Shipments that were tampered with, shipments that went missing under your eye. Now, I'm not an idiot to go into business with someone with this kind of record without obtaining assurances for my risk. Mr. Rajnov, no business is perfect, but overall, our track record has, has been not been to my liking. 
that it's precisely that I'm no idiot, which is why I am thriving in this business while so young. Unlike my father. Don't condescend to your father, Vlad. He's a good man and I know him very well. Well, he's a no good father of mine and I know him better. So don't condescend to me, Roger. So, gentlemen, when you're able to get my assurances, that's when we may resume talks and business deals. For now, good day. Chrissy? Chrissy! Hey, Victor. Yeah, I know it's been a while. Listen, I need to speak to Alex. Well, where the hell is he? All right, listen. Have him get back to me as soon as possible. This is an emergency. Where the fuck is Jimmy Fingers? Right, playing with himself, that's why they call him Jimmy Fingers. Go make it, go make it, Joe! Got it? How am I doing? I'm pretty fucking behind schedule. I gotta wait months for your stupid ass so we can do business. You got the stuff? Excuse me? Where's your stuff at? The fuck do I look like to you? You right. You right. I'll get the stuff. Oh shit! <laughs>
<laughs> How you doing, Tuts? Wonderful. Serrano, Serrano, Serrano. You know what's the problem, Smokey? <laughs> you will no longer be putting out any more fires. You see, I'm Papa Bear. You know what that means? <laughs> Fuck you. I know. Fuck you. I know. That's that's something you would like to do. <sighs> I know. But today, I'm gonna oh. fuck you. Ah! <laughs> oh man. I'm Papa Bear. Though. You're. Ah! It's over. Ah, you fucked. This will be your last day for any kind of thing. Fuck you. We <sighs> wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> and a happy new year. It's good to see you, Alex. Oh, Sounded pretty flustered over the phone. What's up? Where is this from? Hey, well, I'm just Well, it didn't turn out to be so cold. Never is. I mean, come on. You really didn't think he'd find you? You know, I know he'd been living off the grid, but listen, he wouldn't be who he is if he didn't know how to get shit done or how to find people. You know what I mean? Same old James. Listen, Alex. Asking you to do? Yeah, I do. Vladimir down? I, I know he can do it. The question is, if he wants to. I'm pretty 
sure he wants to. If he wants his girl back. in the basement. Ooh. Let me in, Frankie. Seth said we have to keep the lock up. I'm not gonna let it out. I just need to teach you this bitch a lesson. I remember you saying how tough you were. Thought I'd come down and give you a chance to show me. This is your chance to show me what you really got. You know something? No! Oh. Nothing on me. But you're good though. I give you that much. Such a shame, such a pretty little thing like you to end up with such a loser. Mm -hmm. He's such a loser. How come your man was always praising him to be the best, huh? Yeah, because he's that good, right? He's that good, that's why Seth was chasing him like a little bitch. Seth <laughs> wasn't chasing him. <laughs> like he could have had it bitch. all. <laughs> he could have been on top. But then he decided to walk away. Oh well, in another life, I guess.
Hey, Mike. Son, let him in, let him in. Hey, Alex, uh, what are you doing here, Mike? What are you doing here? I just thought I could have a word with your brother for a little bit. Oh, is he here? Um, yeah, okay, yeah, um, I'm just gonna be upstairs, so if you need anything. You and your friend have a seat. Smoke some drugs, relax, and then on your way out, I'll give you a little something to take back to. How does that sound? Sure. Like I said. All right. Good. Appreciate it, brother. is good. Everybody's doing good. 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 Glad to hear that. Uh, Dave, you know it's 250, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay. Just want to make sure. What's the matter, Alex? You don't have enough money to buy grandma a vibrating egg. Shut the fuck up, little bitch. <laughs>
too. I know you have something. Where is it? Something. Just in my back pocket. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? This is not gonna do, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Only because I know it's all I'm gonna get out of your poor chunky ass. Change my mind. Uh, let's just say I had a little bit of a trip down that road. Yeah. Do, do you remember that 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 hit we did a long time ago on uh, uh, his name David David Stanislaw? Do you remember that? Yeah, I know that was a crazy. Just, uh, just need you to meet me over there, all right? And I'll go and talk to you. It's a beautiful night tonight, fellas. I cannot wait to these jokes, fella. Come on. Yup. It's gonna be a lot of blood. Better buy your baby wipes. <laughs> what? I mean, you never try baby wipes? They clean the blood right off. I think that's the reason they're for babies. Because they always getting hurt.
Jersey, what are you doing? The fuck does it look like I'm doing, King? You gonna haze right before job? What, is there a law against it? You're crazy, bro. Tell me about that girl you went out with last night. What's uh, up with that? She was Dominican. Nice. Took out the dinner. We flirted all night. Told her about the fish salad joke. Oh my god. That joke is so lame. You couldn't have chosen another one? Made a laugh. She probably was laughing at the stupidity of it. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Yo, they coming. So what's going on, Jimmy? Why the fuck you bring us all out here for? Good evening, Hannibal. How I like treating you. How about you suck on my dog's dick, Jimmy? Now, now. Is that a friendly greeting to a friend? Is he no, fucking we... shitting me right now? Please tell me that's another one of your lame jokes. You know we all hate your guts, Jimmy. And good evening to you too, Scarlet. Bite me. Seriously, Jimmy. Why'd you call this meeting so abruptly? You know we only do this when it's something serious and needs to be dealt with. Finally! Somebody who talks to me as a friend. How's it going, Alonzo? Nah. I'm just more patient than them. So what's the deal, Jimmy? Why you bring us all out here? Well, Alonzo's right. I brought you all here for a specific reason. As you know, you all know who I work for. We have Hannibal of the Black Saber Team. We have Saber, and we have Alonzo of the Black Street Crips. And look who decided to show up late. Come here, Hunter. Where's Ace? Hey, Hunter, how's your face? I heard it got manhandled by Frankie. <laughs> so, as I was saying, I want to discuss one danger we all are facing. Incompetence. Shit in the city is cracking. Shit is slowing down. Our brothers in the biz that didn't show are slacking because of laziness and incompetent work ethic. Everyone's getting affected and everything's getting infected with laziness. And that's why the gangs in New York are being torn apart. Bosses are being locked up left and right. Not fucking street thugs, not fucking lieutenants, Fucking bosses, and no one seems to care to tighten the grips of their turf. Because everyone's getting lazy. And if this persists, it's going to run us all down into the ground. I've been noticing this. And it's been going on for a while. So, it's time for some restructuring. Oh, please, you are so full of shit. Restructuring? You're the one who's been causing trouble for all of us. And you have the balls to stand up there like some motherfucking scar face and tell us we need to get our shit together? Jimmy, I'm going to tell you something my mama used to tell me. 
The one who talks the most shit is the one who bullshits the most. You're standing there talking down to all of us for falling behind. Meanwhile, you've been fucking up. And your fuck-ups have been causing problems for all our flow. Fuck-ups? So maybe you're the one who needs to work on how you do things, not the other way around. <laughs> fuck-ups? Fuck-ups? What fuck-ups? <laughs> Don't even get me started on that shit you pulled in the Bronx two months ago. Because of your big mouth, my people had to clean up some serious heat in one of our busiest areas. Don't forget you're running with that former NYPD sergeant. Yeah, the one you taught limb from limb, he was my mole, asshole, and it took me a lot of time to plant him. How, how was I supposed to know he was your mole? You left him with half a face. I couldn't even plant him again after that. What's up, Ace? Good evening, gentlemen, ladies. I can see everyone raining down on Jimmy, as usual. <laughs> and because of you, I lost my access to information, asshole. I gotta admit... That affected a lot of our business too, Jimmy. I'm just saying, I really wanted to kick your ass. Not to mention what you did to Ramon. I had a joint share in that territory. Look, guys, everything that I do is to better my business. Almost. Yeah, but Jimmy, whatever happened to Ramon affected my business. And you don't better your flow by costing somebody else theirs, asshole. You've been a thorn in our side for far too long, Jimmy. I think he's been more than a thorn. <laughs> Baltazar, teach Freddy Cougar over here a lesson. See? You guys see what kind of bullshit comes up when we get together like this? That's what I'm talking about. Take care of these motherfuckers. I'm out. Get out there, Hunter. What? I'm serious. Get rid of those motherfuckers for good. So what are we gonna do? Save Jimmy's ass, I guess.
Break a nail. Damn, Trizzy, what the fuck, man? I thought you had my back. You damn near broke it. But what are you talking about? You got your ass whooped. I fucking know, Win Chun. Listen, man. I was all fancy. You got one in here and there. I mean, but I was all fancy getting it in there. All I'm saying, man, is have my fucking back. You just fucking stood there. Hey, don't fuck this up. Next time, just have my fucking back. to Zhang's shop. And that's the only territory you're getting from us. Good. Your side gets Kai's shop. That's promise. And what about Jimmy? You know what, Sai? Your father's a good man. I respect him for that. But one thing I'm against? He didn't teach you any manners. For example, when you come into somebody's car, it's polite to greet them with a the hello. Don't fuck around with me, Seth, okay? Fuck you. After what Jimmy did to me, my father was ready to wage war on him. And then your entire territory would have been compromised. But he was nice enough to let you deal with it instead. So don't you fucking talk to me about matters. Like I said before, don't worry about Jimmy. Yeah. You better hope he's not gonna be a problem. Because if you don't get rid of him, you're gonna end up worse. You hear me, King Kong? Hold your ah! tongue, sir! Ah. Ah. You know good as well. If I wanted to, I could send you back to hell father in pieces. <laughs> My comfort level with starting a war with him is at an all high. In fact, it will be fun for me. Uh, so give me an excuse. Uh, <coughs> now that our business is done, I bid you a farewell. Now get the fuck out of my car. You see? My manners are still intact, even though after a little disagreement. Because he do the same thing. Go, 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 go
Алексей, не забывай, что нужно все сделать очень правильно. Да, да. Я понимаю. Понимаешь, мой бизнес уже вообще пошел на нет из-за всего этого. Мне нужны очень компетентные люди. Окей, okay, все будет нормально, я знаю, что делать. Don't tell me not to worry about it. I'll keep you updated. All right, Vlad. Die away, bro. Talk to you later.
got something for me, right? Well, Seth set up a meeting with Jimmy Fingers. He wants you to go on his behalf. And from there, you know what to do. You know you're short $800, right, from the last job. I understand that completely. I will let Mr. Seth know as soon as possible. Well, this one's gonna cost you extra, right? You're gonna get it before. We're gonna make sure of that. Better make sure. Because if not... Go talk to him. All right, just uh, just wait here. I'll let you know. Listen, I am done. You fucking hear me? I am done. That's it. What the fuck are you talking about? Man, man, I'm not trying to hear that. You know, you had me on one last job. Then you had me on the Hendrix job. Then I had to babysit your girlfriend. What the fuck is this, man? What I look like? Some kind of scrub to you? You know what? That's it. Fuck this. We're done. I'm done. Down to him, fucker. Frankie. Frankie. God damn it. Seth. We couldn't be here right now. A lot of things going on. A lot of things like what? It's not to be discussed. This motherfucker probably got titties and ass shots. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I came here for? Stop fucking around. Listen, doggy. I'm Jimmy Fingers, motherfucker. <laughs> You're dead now. You're fucking dead. You're dead. <laughs> Motherfuckers, throw you out!
Golden Boy Neo. Wow. You took out two of my men. I'm impressed. You made it. You did it. Okay. It's your last time right here. came from? You definitely don't work for my boss. See? I like to measure people. And it seems like you're either someone I don't want to fuck with or I'd love to fuck with. Either way, you could go. I'm not going to stop you. I don't want to end your life here today, secluded in this shitty-ass garage. I think you deserve a show. Besides, I think I want to get to know you a little better. And to do that, I need to see what you're going to do next. So go ahead. I'm sure our paths will cross again. You're kidding me, right? Look, Vlad, he just wants to talk, okay? Alex, did you forget that James walked out on me to go work for Seth? And now he wants me to help him take him down? And save his girlfriend? That, does this sound like the set of some twisted soap opera to you? Look, I get it, he walked out on you. I understand. But you know what? You finally have the opportunity to take Seth out. Which I know you always want to do. He can lead you straight to him. And all we gotta do is go help him get, get his girl back. This is ridiculous. You expect me to drop everything for that piece of shit who betrayed me? Vlad, we all do it in this business sooner or, or later. He didn't betray you, Vlad, alright? He just left to go work for an employer who paid him more. You can't blame him for that. He went where the money was. This is ridiculous. Look, Vlad, he was sent here to kill you. And we both know he could have done that easily, but instead he wants to work with you, okay? So let's just work with him, all right? So you can finally be rid of Seth. <laughs> I can take care of Seth if I wanted to. So you're not gonna help him? Look, he, he's on his way right now. So what, should I tell him you said no? Don't play me for a fool, Alex. Think I don't know that your friend is outside? <sighs> yeah, he is. So what? Uh, I told him I'll, I'll talk to you. That's it. Well, go look out the window and see if he's still there. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> 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 
I should have known. Yeah, you should have. Where's Alex? Don't worry about him. He was a friend, but I had to let him go. So what? You and Seth are working together now all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that it's all of a sudden? We had this planned out from the start, buddy. What are you talking about? James, when you walked out on me, did you really think I'd let you go? I was always keeping tabs and you trying to find the best way to punish you. And when you walked out on Seth, it was a perfect opportunity for him, too. So I contacted Vlad. Told him I was going to set him up. Have you to kill him. By kidnapping Chrissy. And I said, perfect. You see, I always knew you'd come to me for help in order to bring Seth down. So we made you do a full circle for nothing while always knowing that we'd finish you in the end. But it was always our plan to set you up and have you end up here. Helpless. Like a dog. This is our punishment for you, James. Wow. Real impressive. All because I walked away. You were always warned about what would happen if you left. And now, we want to do something real special for you, James. So fucking do it then. But let Chrissy go. What are you going to do with this? No, on the contrary, James. She is part of the punishment. <laughs> but I'll let the two of you decide that. Bring him down. Get the hell Get the hell Get down. Lucky you got that gun. Shut the hell up. Get off me! Don't hurt her, motherfucker. So, whoever stabs the other one first gets to walk out of here. You gotta be kidding me. Kidding? Do I look like I'm fucking kidding? Pick it up! Or you can pick it up. I really don't give a fuck. But if one of you doesn't stab the other, both of you are gonna be dead. Please, no. Okay, I'll do it. What do you mean? I'm gonna kill myself. No! No, no, please. Please. You have nothing to do with this. You're the one who needs to walk. No. That's not gonna cut it, James. I said one of you needs to stab the other, not yourself. And if that doesn't happen in the next ten seconds, both of you are dead. Please. Fuck, Vlad, haven't you done enough? Wait, wait, Let wait. go! Seven. No. You're a sick fuck. Please! Five. Let her go, she's innocent. No! You're sick man. No! 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 no. Three. <laughs> what the fuck is your problem? Here's again, no. let's go. No! 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 No!
Now finish it! What? Finish it. No, I can't! I can okay. finish it! to rot here. to the top. Everyone else in your life. Because you don't trust anyone. And neither do I. That's why we're no good together. Sorry, sugar.
So you do you regret walking out of us, James? Huh? No. Do you? No. And why is that? I found out who my friends are. And who are they? Nobody. <laughs> It's done. You're quite a survivor, aren't you? You make it sound like it's a bad thing. On the contrary. Thank you for your good work, Miss Raisa. It was never about the money, you know. The money was just an excuse. Oh, <laughs> I know. You were afraid to listen to the traitor, yeah? Right? So you'd rather never find out, huh? <laughs> Just don't forget who your friends are. Don't have any. <laughs> No, you put some more like this. I just think it's bad. Razor. Yeah, she's definitely something. But in the end, none of them stay. That's her curse, I'm afraid. Oh, well. At least I get to watch you die, baby. Oh yeah? How do you figure? <laughs> Motherfucker. Don't worry about it. My guy just put the full pay to your account. You think I don't have a phone?
Gina, wonderful to see you. What's the news? We have a slight issue. Jimmy Fingers is dead. <laughs> I'm glad that clown is dead. Yes, sir, but it wasn't me. Well, it looks like we solved that problem. <laughs> ah! oh! Nice. Now look at you. Shut the fuck up. We both try to teach you what happens to you. Will you walk away from us? You mean to tell me you didn't see any of this coming? I saw this coming. And that's why I walked out. Don't you see what pointless bullshit this all is? You're all losers. Literal. You all lose in the end. Cause you end up fucking each other. Yeah. You understand? What it takes to get to the top. Fuck! You know what? Let it go, man. Holy shit. You were at the top, and now you're at the bottom. So shut the fuck up. I hate you. Let me guess. You wanna fight me for what I did to your girl, right? Nah. She turned out to be a bitch. Mason, kill him. You only paid me for one job, all right? You want me to kill him? Call your guy again. Call your guy again, I'll kill him. Christ. Wow. Mason. You know what? Don't even worry about it. Shoot! Shot him? Every time this guy sends me on a job, there's always some bullshit. Hendrix, Jimmy Fingers, there's always some bullshit. And I'm tired of it. Okay, I don't need the headaches anymore. You fucking shot him? I'll finish him off. He did push a lot of shit. Serious?
caught a sip, but let me roll sign. Don't nobody give a shit and want a whole sign. She know I got it, she know I'ma roll for it. I'ma run for it, it's my cousin run for us. Whole ass things below a hunts point. Give it cash up, no gun point. Give it cash and a gun point. On the mail, what a bitch. On the mail, now I'm pitching. Be a mail, now I'm pitching. Probably like a pound, now I'm pitching. Like I'm walking around like Emmys. Nigga got cake, no internet. No, I be winning. Everybody talking, I be spinning. Money on the back of line, I gotta get it. Nigga be on the rail with the grip, get in the business. I run around, big fish, fish now. I just caught a zip, let me roll sign. Glad I got it, I'ma go for it. Run for it, my cousin, run for it. They get a cash and no gun point. Bitch niggas giving cash, not a gun point. She gon' hit me up, I'ma get her wet, get her wet. Niggas bein' money, they be silly, they be silly. We gon' get this cash, she gon' blow fat, blow fat. Get a kiss, a bunch of J's, and a Gucci bag, Gucci bag. But she fly them niggas, down them niggas. Long head down the dash, she a winner, she a winner. All them niggas really do is gritters, they be gritters. Half them niggas really make us, we be winner, we be winner. Niggas winning, we some fuckin' stars Niggas winning, we some fuckin' stars Let him drip now Listen to the song, let it drip now He gon' be a body head click now Don't make a sound I just caught a zip, let me roll sign Don't nobody give a shit, I want a whole song My baby mama, she on one night She know that I got it, I'ma go for it Run for us, whole ass niggas belong a hunts boy. They get a cash without gun boy. Gang bitch niggas giving cash without gun boy. I'm hitting these legs, hitting these legs, hitting these legs. I'm getting all this, I'm getting all this. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hitting these legs, I'm getting this though, though, though. I'm hitting these models, I'm swerving these hoes. Swear, 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 swear. They say I'm that nigga, I say I suppose. Hoes, hoes. I'm back on my jug, I'm back on the road. Oh, oh. I'm hitting these licks, I'm getting this dough, dough. I'm hitting these models, I'm swerving these hoes. Swear, 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 swear. They say I'm that nigga, I say I suppose. I'm back on my jug, I'm back on the road. She told me give it to her slow. While she watch the chain up on me glow. Bank rollers on me, whoa. My revolver is a 44. Pull up in convertible, then park in front of condo. They screaming, I'm about to blow. And every everybody knows, but I done been homeless before. I ain't had nowhere to go. I really had nowhere to go. I was out here on my own. I'm never going back to bro. I'm stacking this money, I'm counting these hundreds. You play around, you getting smoked. My shooter pull up and have all of y'all running. I get that green light to go. Now you injured like D Rose. All of my niggas get busy. Busy. Kicking back, sipping this any. You overlooking the city. Your baby mama so friendly. She says she wants shoes to Sebi. She love me on Tommy, she love me, and she gonna love me. Uh. I'm hitting these licks, I'm getting this dough, dough. I'm hitting these models, I'm swerving these hoes. Swear, 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 swear. They say I'm that nigga, I say I suppose. I'm back on my jug, I'm back on the road. Oh. I'm hitting these models, I'm swerving these hoes. Swear, 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 swear. They say I'm that nigga, I say I suppose. I'm back on my jug, I'm back on the road. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Look how they changed on you